Hi guys, it's Miss Danielle from Wonderfeet Kids Museum. As I mentioned before, I love reading and I always have. We have a ton of books here at the museum and I have a lot of books at my house, including some of my favorite books that I saved from when I was a kid. And one of my favorite books was this one called The Day Jimmy's Boa Constrictor Ate the Wash. This book is about a bunch of kids going on a field trip. And I feel like right now, it's the end of the school year, a lot of us are missing being able to go on field trips and take those fun adventures with our friends. So this story is one that has always stuck with me. I still think about it every time I see kids going on a field trip. Um, is about uh, an, a kid's adventure that goes a little bit haywire. So let's read this book together the day Jimmy's boa ate the wash. The story is by Trinka Hakes Noble, and the pictures are by Stephen Kellogg. And if you can look at the cover here, you can see this is a very well-loved book. I did hold on to it for a long time, and it came with me on a lot of adventures when I was a kid, too. So. The day Jimmy's boa ate the wash. And it starts with the little girl coming home from her class trip. It says, how was your class trip to the farm? Oh, boring, kind of dull, until that cow started crying. A cow? Crying? Yeah, you see, a haystack fell on her. But haystacks don't just fall over. You see the haystack in the cow? Well, it does if a farmer crashes into it with a tractor. Oh, come on. A farmer would never do that. Well, he would if he were too busy yelling at the pigs to get off of our school bus. There's the pigs on the school bus up there. What were pigs doing on the bus? They were eating our lunches. Why were they eating your lunches? Well, because we threw all their corn at each other and they didn't have anything else to eat. Well, that makes sense, but why were you throwing corn? Well, because we ran out of eggs. Out of eggs? Why were you throwing eggs? Uh-oh. Well, because of the boa constrictor. The boa constrictor? Yeah, Jimmy's pet boa constrictor. Well, what was Jimmy's pet boa constrictor doing on the farm? Oh, he brought it to meet all the farm animals, but the chickens didn't like it. You mean he took it in the hen house? Yeah, and the chickens started squawking and flying around. Go on, go on, what happened? Well, one hen got excited and laid an egg and it landed on Jenny's head. The hen? No, the egg. And it broke, yucky, all over her hair. Well, what did she do? She got mad because she thought Tommy threw it. So she threw one at him. Well, what did Tommy do? Oh, he ducked and the egg hit Mary Ann in the face. Oh no. So then she threw one at Jenny, but she missed and it hit Jimmy who dropped his boa constrictor. Oh, I know. The next thing you know, everyone was throwing eggs, right? Right. And when you ran out of eggs, then you threw the pig's corn, right? Right again. Well, what finally stopped it? Well, we heard the farmer's wife screaming. Why was she screaming? Can you tell? Why is she screaming? 
we never found out because Mrs. Stanley made us get on the bus and we sort of left in a hurry without the boa constrictor. Oh no. I bet Jimmy was sad that he left his pet boa constrictor. Oh no, not really. We left in such a hurry that one of the pigs didn't get off the bus. So now we've got a pet pig. Boy, that sure sounds like an exciting trip. Yeah, I suppose, if you're the kind of kid who likes class trips to the farm. <laughs> it looks like she likes racing better instead. <laughs> Oh, and there's the farmer and his wife back at the farm. It looks like they've gotten used to their new guest. I hope you enjoyed that book as much as I did. One of my favorite things about this book, and a lot of the other books that were my favorites when I was a kid, is that they have really detailed pictures. And I loved looking at the pictures for hours and hours and trying to find new things that I hadn't noticed before. Do you guys have any books that you like doing that with? books where the pictures kind of tell their own story in addition to whatever's going on with the words. One of my favorite things about books is that every time we read it, we can discover something new, even if it's a book like this that I've read hundreds of times. I hope you guys are having a great end to your school year, and I hope we get to see you again soon at Wonderfeet. Thanks!